In today's video, I want to give you guys the top 5 console tips to instantly improve yourself with gunfights, getting more kills, whatever it may be, stuff along those lines that a lot of people have been asking me, like how do I get more kills, how do I win more gunfights, how do I do all this? So today I want to break it down in 5 simple tips and give you examples on what you need to be doing when you are playing. But that being said, be sure to leave a like on this video. If we can get this video to 500 likes, I'll love you, and be sure to subscribe or on the grind to 40k. But that being said, let's get into today's video. Alright, so the first tip is going to be to get yourself a mouse and keyboard. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. I will see y'all. Peace. <music> kidding, I'm kidding. It was just a joke. You do not need a mouse and keyboard. That's the main thing I want to talk about in this first part. Is the first tip is really just going to be positioning. You do not need a mouse and keyboard to be better on console. You can use a controller and be fine. It just takes time to get used to a controller, get you know used to your sense, get muscle memory, get everything down. But the first tip I want to talk about when you're going to win more gunfights is going to be positioning because you're probably going to be versing a ton of mouse and keyboard players. It's just the way console is. People like to cheat. So the first thing that you want to do if you want to win more gunfights is going to be to have better positioning. I want to break it down for you on what I mean by this. Now, I've gone over this a ton of times in my videos, but I want to go into more detail about it for those who really need help and are struggling. So when you're using your surroundings or positioning, whatever you want to call it, this is what I'm going to do. This is the first thing you're going to do. Use your surroundings like this. Hold tight angles. If you're getting ready to take a gunfight, like I know someone's down this hallway, I am going to hold this tight angle. This is going to make it harder for the enemy to kill me because only my head and my you know side of my body is exposed while I can see him before he can see me for the most part. On top of that, I'm just going to use what is around me to help me take a gunfight. That is very important, especially if you're versing master keyboard players whose aim are going to be better. You need to play better. You need to have better positioning. Okay? It's very, very key. Now, for example, you're going to watch me go and roam. I'm going to now go, and go up and flank. This is going to allow me to use my positioning again. Once again, hold this tight angle. See if I can wait for someone to come through a doorway so it's harder for them to kill me. Okay, I don't see them. I do a quick peek. Then I move to my left. And I make sure that they cannot see me from that door. Do you see what I'm kind of like hinting at? I'm trying to use the doorways and where I'm exposed from to help me push and take any gunfights to help me gain map control. Stuff like this is going to, you know, it's going to help you a lot. Once again, hiding myself from this door. Once I clear out to my right is clear, then I'll move over to this door. Then I'm, you know, peeking, holding tighter angles, peeking, making sure everything is clear. Now I'm going to peek the hatch, okay? So stuff like this is going to help you. You need to make sure that you are using everything around you to take gunfights no matter if they're looking at you no matter if they're behind you once again i'm going to check to my left going to check the door see no one both ways then i'm going to come down you're not going to sprint because sprinting is you know very important you don't want to do that but generally what i'm trying to get at is just use your surroundings hold tight angles tight angles are very good very very good all right so that was a much more passive type of you know, using your position to your surroundings, but you don't always want to be passive. Now, there is times when you do want to get aggressive, so I'm going to show this clip. Some of you may have seen it already, but this is a good example of what I mean by this. So, obviously, I had to play passive before, but in this situation, I'm in a 1v3, so I have to get aggressive, and I'm still going to use my surroundings. As you see, using my server behind me to cover my back, and I'm going to watch this door in case I do get flanked, as I know I'm in a 1v3. I realize I have 40 seconds. I need to start to get aggressive. I hear them planting. I'm going to continue to use my surroundings, try not to be, you know, in the open hole in the wall, try and hug this wall so I'm blocked from the left, and once again, then I rotate. Still, using my surroundings, but I'm playing more aggressive. I'll explain, like, you know, when to decide to do this and how to pick if to be passive or aggressive next, but... Just continue to watch. I'm going to keep using my surroundings no matter what. I'm not going to run right out because he can kill me. I'm going to try and use the wall. Then I'm going to prone. Once again, use this to cover me so I can't get wall banged as easy. And then I'm once again going to get up because I start to get spotted. Try and move. Always going to rotate. Like I said, positioning is very, very important. And this is much more of an aggressive play style based off of just using my positioning. Because like I said, you don't always want to play passive. But you want to always look at the time and use your time management. Which then leads into the next tip, which is time management. Now, time management is going to win you so many gunfights. Look at this clip just for example. I'm in a 1v2. This is to win the game, right? There is 50 seconds left. Now, sure, I can just go run at these people, but I know that they have to plant the bomb. And I know that all I have to do is try and single out these gunfights. And if I do this correctly, they're going to not have any time to plant the bomb. And if they do, there's going to be one person planting, meaning I'm going to be in a 1v1 for about 7.5 seconds, which then will give me time to kill them if I don't kill any beforehand. So with this, you want to pay attention to the clock. Now, this can go in your situation or even in my situation like you see right here. It's going to happen a ton, and it's very, very important. 
Look at the clock. 20 seconds. It is a 1v2 with 20 seconds left. Now, this can happen in your situation and my situation, like I said. But what am I going to do? I'm going to then rotate. They start to ping him. I now wall bang. I get a kill. Now, I realize there's 10 seconds left a 1v1. I do not need to take this. So, I'm going to then go rotate and wait. Wait timeout. There's 5 seconds left. I'm going to just let this guy try and plant the bomb. And now, I'm going to go push him. Once it hits 0. Because once I push him when it hits 0, I now know he can't get off the bomb or he loses. And then, what do I do? I win the round. I win my gunfight because I played based off of time management. You need to do this more often and I promise you it will help you get more kills. Alright, so the next important tip to win more gunfights is going to be to pre-fire more. I promise you, if you pre-fire more, you would get way more kills. I have gotten so many more kills. I have won so many more gunfights based off of pre-firing. And I'll explain in this clip. I've, you know, some of you may have seen this, but watch me pre-fire this kid, okay? I won this gunfight because I pre-fired him. Imagine if I didn't. If I would have swung out into that hallway and I only saw his little head, I would pause. I wouldn't have killed him, like, at all. Because he, I can't see him. I can barely see him. But if I pre-fire, I can see him as I'm moving or as I'm swinging the door. It lets me shoot before he even can shoot. It allows me to get the upper hand on someone who is just sitting there waiting for me to push them or to kill them. You can pre-fire them literally every chance you get. And especially if you use LMG in this LMG meta, it is very broken. The only thing I watch out for is if you're a Roni main, don't pre-fire that much because you will wind up losing that. Because it does not have a lot of bullets. But in most scenarios, it's very important to pre-fire. Pre-firing around corners, pre-firing when you are moving, just pre-fire, pre-fire, pre-fire. Small tip, but it's very, very important and very, very useful. Moving on to the fourth tip, I want to talk about something that is very important that you need to make sure you improve on, and that is going to be crosshair placement. Now, if you have bad crosshair placement, you will probably wind up losing a ton of gunfights due to people just hitting their heads, especially against people who play MK. So it can be hard because people flick to your head, you know, like it's no one's business. So on a mouse and keyboard, and you're on a controller. So what you need to do is you need to go into T hunts and just warm up your aim. And by aim, I really just mean crosshair placement. Maybe do a headshot only or focus on the upper chest to head area. Now, I know some people do crouch spam and all that stuff where you'll be looking at people through the holes like that through the floor. And, you know, you're like, okay, well, what do I do then? At that point, you have to, that will come to your sensitivity and you have to kind of learn to adjust based off of what you're looking at. But for the most part, I like to aim chest to head level. So that way if they are crouched, I can quickly look down. If they are standing, I can quickly move up or just shoot them in the chest based off of stuff like that. So... Generally, what I want you to do is just go and practice your crosshair placement. Just do a T-hunt where you're only aiming at the head. Take it slow. Don't do it too fast. Or just go do casual. And just whenever you see anyone, just always focus on aiming at the chest to head. It is very, very important. And I promise you that you will win more gunfights if you have better crosshair placement. Because if you are looking at their toes and you're shooting their little feet off, you're going to lose. I promise you. I've lost so many gunfights due to bad crosshair placement. Like, I should have won certain gunfights, but because they headshotted me and I didn't, I lost. And it sucks. But you will win way more if you do have better cross replacement. Don't aim at the tip of the head because obviously you're on a controller. The recoil might go up. But definitely aim at the chest, neck, head level in that area. And just practice, practice, practice. And it will become muscle memory, I promise. All right, now the final tip is going to be confidence. Now, I'm sorry if, I've, if I, you know, I've used this clip so many times, guys. But I, just, like, I think this is like the best clip for confidence as well as I don't have too many clips as I'm going away on vacation. I'm going away to the majors tomorrow. So I'm going to vlog that. Me and affects a ton of friends. Athena, all going to be in an Airbnb. Be sure to stick around and subscribe for that. But back to this video. This is what I mean by confidence. Let me run this clip back. Now I put this last because I always talk about it, but it's still very important. When you're playing, if you do everything I told you and you have no confidence, it won't matter. If you play very scared and you don't believe in your shot, you are going to do everything I told you and you're going to lose the gunfight. Confidence is very important, okay? If you play and you just run around like a psycho and think you're the best player. I promise you, you actually will do better in terms of mental. Like, I'm in a 1v5 right here, and I'm just kind of rushing at people, using my positioning, using my crosshair placement, using my, you know, how I'm peeking, slow walking, stuff like that, using my time management. But look at this, okay? When you're playing, you have to believe in yourself. You have to, like, take it down, slow it down, think of how you can break it down to a 1v1 in each gunfight, and just try and do it based off of that. Confidence is very, very important. And you just can build it up by playing more and just showing yourself that, you know, you can win gunfights, you can do this. But if you play way too scared, you're going to lose the gunfight. It happens to me a lot. There's some nights where I'll stream and I'll do so bad, but it's because I'm playing very scared. I'm worried about my KD. I'm worried about playing bad. I'm worried about... No. Once you push all that to the side, stop focusing on KD. Focus on winning. Focus on taking it down to a 1v1. Focus on telling yourself that you're going to win this gunfight, and you will. It sounds so stupid, right? But it's, it's so true. There is nights where if I play in a vibe stack, I play so much better because I'm not worried about people judging how I play. I'm not worried 
about anything. That's why like, when I don't stream and I play off stream, I play 10 times better because I'm not worried about performing bad in front of 100 people. You know what I mean? Stuff like that. But I've kind of started to learn, okay, stop caring. Just, just play the game and win. Just play the game and focus. And if you can tell yourself this, you will build your confidence. If you can show yourself this, which is why I like to do a TDM before I stream, before I do anything, to show myself, hey, look, I just got 20 kills, guys. I'm going to go off in rank. Stuff as simple as that. This game is such a mental game. And you can chalk your mental very fast. Like, you can, if, you're, if you're down 0-3, you'll chalk your mental if you, if you don't focus up and just focus and play it round by round. But confidence will help you win gunfights. If you're going to swing someone, believe in it. Commit to it. Fully swing someone. Play aggressive. Don't play scared. And if you play aggressive and you balance it out, you will win your gunfights. I promise you it will help you a ton. Hopefully this video did help you guys. I'm going to be going away, but I'll still have videos up. This video is going up while I'm away. But be sure to leave a like, be sure to comment, and be sure to subscribe. I will see y'all. Peace.